Bob Johnson with PK and W Railroad coming to you with another video. Thanks for watching. Today, Rose and I are going to ride the Duquesne Incline to in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. One time when I was rail fanning in Saginaw, Texas, I was hanging out with a bunch of Brits, and one of them said, if it runs on rails and it's not draperies, I'm interested. So in that spirit, spirit we'll take the Duquesne Incline. The Duquesne Incline was built in 1877, and at one time there were over a dozen inclines in Pittsburgh. Why? Because the railroads run at the water route to avoid grades. That's down below us here. We're at the top of the incline now. So th there was a need to bring people and coal from the river level up to this spot, which at the time the incline was built was known as Coal Hill. It's now known as Mount Washington. So come along while we ride the Duquesne Incline. Duquesne Incline is actually a funicular. As you can see, there are two parallel tracks with two cars running in opposite directions. The word funicular comes from the Latin word meaning rope because the two cars are actually connected together by a single cable and they act as a counterweight to each other, allowing the system to operate with a much smaller motor than it otherwise might. If there's only one car on one track, it's called an inclined plane. The incline is still using the original equipment, and in this view, it certainly looks like it. It was kind of creaky going up and down, but it seemed pretty secure, and as you'll see, the interiors were, although somewhat utilitarian, nicely decorated with wood carvings. Views from the top of the incline are nothing short of spectacular. Here you see Heinz Field, where there was a Steelers game in progress. They actually won. This 2019 campaign has been pretty difficult. As the camera pans to the right, you'll see Point Park, which was the end of my gap trail that I'll be producing other busy videos on. This is where the Allegheny and the Nagaila come together to form the Ohio River.
way back down, we were treated to a view of a CSX auto rack unit train. And here you see the mid train helper. Well, thanks for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit the little bell icon to receive notifications of future videos. Until next time, Bob Johnson with PK&W Railroad signing off. Happy rail fanning and happy modeling.